A little bit of a swordsman. Like, yeah. Oh, they've left their swordsman in very undefendable places. I'll take it. Yeah, they killed one swordsman, which is a little unfortunate, but they are just sort of leaving themselves in this trap to get attacked by my other units here. So not going to complain. And yeah, they've got more swordsmen on the way, admittedly, but I'm now producing units as well. And we are not hanging around with how many units we're going to throw at the AI, especially because in Gaza can be... Oh, it's attacking perfectly for me. <laughs> Look at this. Let's see if we can levy the units soon. 390. I can actually do that next turn, I think. Actually, nope, scrap that. I can do it this turn. How many envoys has America got? Nah, not enough. Not enough. Levy. Bam. I'm in a golden age next era, and we've got one, two, three swordsmen, another two archers attacking from another direction now. Oh, they're going to regret this. There's one great general. I'm not going to waste any faith on getting multiple versions of it, but that is a good thing for me. Um, we're, we're beelining towards divine right because I want to get Mont Saint Michel up as quickly as possible so that I can start to send relics out. It's quite an important one for me, but looking at this ha 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 we've got units now attacking in multiple directions and this is looking increasingly lovely for me I'm also getting Armani because there are other city-states that can be captured the more I can turn against America the better we get now unfortunately no one else wants to join this war and I think it might be something to do with pathing sometimes if the AI can't see a linear path to go and attack they won't, but the Netherlands now can, and that's good. So the Netherlands have joined in on this war. That'll make things a little bit easier, I hope. Now, I think, do I attack Boston and draw their army south, or do I just bypass it and go to Charleston uh, and then take that city? I think I can get away with taking one of the cities. Boston's not that good a city for me, being honest. It's not on a hill, and it would be very much considered to be a bit of a war crime. Uh, it's also got a lot of population pressure on it, so I think we're actually going to bypass it and I'm going to go off to Charleston. After that, I might peace out. CC number five, by the way. Huzzah! Mega colossal eruption. Oh dear, that actually does hit my city. Oh, what if that destroy? I, I mean, how that? I think it was probably because I was working that tile. Four tiles gain fertility. I mean, yeah, okay, fine. This, this city's going to get a constant pummeling from volcanoes around it. And to be fair, well, what are you going to do? Oh, the prophet. The prophet is ready. Huzzah! We can actually finally make a religion. I think like a lion is quite appropriate when playing Ethiopia. And we're going to go for Albert the Relic Lion. That's his name. <laughs> I don't know why. He's just called Albert. Reliquaries. That's what I was looking for. And I want to be able to throw my apostles at people cheap. So we're going to go for Holy Order, making them cheaper to purchase. Delicious. Lovely stuff. That's what we want to see. It's all good. Now, um, Makabody Temple is something that I could build. It's got to have a temple in this city. But once Axum's done, I might actually start to build that and see if we can rush that through. I don't believe anyone has built it yet. And it's a very good wonder. Another city down in the bottom of the map now. Desi, I'm making my way over to where Ingarzagamu is. That would be an amazing pickup for me. I'm actually going to buy a saddle there and quickly. Uh, Magnus, you go to my new city. Lovely. We're going to try and put at least a border city up over here to stop America from spreading in. The loyalty pressure could be a tiny bit frustrating for a little while. Um, I might have to just think about that one for a bit. In fact, there's, there's a nice hill tile there I can settle on. We'll go to there and I'll see if I can get closer. Apprenticeship! Hey, it's uh, Men at Arms. Big upgrade, huge upgrade for me. Um, and I've also now got my great general over, which makes a little bit of additional sense. Swordsman, more attack power, brilliant. But I've actually managed to siege the city already. That's half of its strength taken. Um, you know, I will actually end up taking Boston accidentally. Might not be able to keep it, but I mean, I guess I can sell it back to them in a peace deal for a bit of gold, which helps. They're uh, starting to build walls, but you can't help but feel it's too late. That, however, is unfortunate. That's in my capital. Yeah. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's get that builder sorted quickly. What, anything destroyed? No, just population. I mean, everything's on fire. But apart from that, apart from that, we're okay. I think I can take this city. No, I can't. Ah, uh, there's always one. There's always one attack that doesn't quite work out. I think that's Boston taken. Yeah, look at that. Already taken. Rebellion is pretty, pretty strong in that city. Let's just quickly shoot and shoot. And then we can take this city. And that city's taken as well. Charleston. 
Oh my goodness, I think Charleston is, is very much going to be loyal. Boston, more difficult. Now it just depends, it just depends on whether or not peace is possible here. Now, I mean, I could raise Boston to the ground. That would be petty. It's a good city, it's got a theater square. Do I just see if I can keep it for a bit? It's got a lot of marsh, I could, I could grow it out. Yeah, you know what, sod it, we're keeping them. Keeping them both. Uh, Boston is, I can keep it loyal if I move the governor over, which I'm going to do with Magnus. It's a little bit of a more unusual way of getting settlers out, but I have got a road that I can send my scouts, uh, my settlers through, so that's actually not too bad an option for me. And if I now go to peace, what would you give me if I gave you my cities? But okay, right, they, they're more likely to take peace now. We could just flatten America and just pretend that the world hasn't noticed. Go on, join in this war. You know you want to. Oh, they don't. They really don't want to. Oh, okay. I'm being given a relic for some citrus. I'll take that relic. Yeah, I'll get some of that action. Perfect. That's a, another 12 faith per turn. I mean, the AI doesn't really know what it's doing giving me those things, but you know what? I'm going to take it. So here is a temple in Aksum. This is good because there is a forest next to it so I can build Mahabodhi Temple. Actually, this is a pretty rubbish tile, so I'll just pop it straight in there. Get the builder. We can actually rush this through, I think. 400 uh, production. Yeah, that's, that's a couple of forest chops, but we can do that easily enough. That's fine. What could go wrong? Oh, this crossbow is a nightmare. Philadelphia is attacking back. Uh, I lost a mana arms. I actually took those mana arms from the AI. You know what actually pieces up? I don't need to be attacking. It's just one of those things where I'd rather actually peace out, just concentrate on focusing on my empire and getting this challenge sorted nicely. You know, let's just make sure that we're having fun, doing everything we wanted to do. All lovely stuff. Pull back. Everyone's happy. You attacked me, America. Ultimately, I think that's fine. Also, I'm now friends with pretty much everyone on the map. So, uh, America, you might find that you struggle to get a little bit of traction with, you know, getting people to dislike me. I'm just going to give you a gift of iron. How do you want that? Oh, they do like that. Send a delegation. No, uh, I reckon I reckon if I give you some horses, don't don't worry. It's not a Trajan horse. I promise. There you go. They like me a bit better now. And America, America are going to dislike me massively, but hopefully they will denounce me soon, which will get rid of some of these grievances and the world will forget very quickly why they're annoyed at me. Did I get construction? I did get construction. Actually, that's not bad. How much is a chop? 57. If I got Magnus there, I could chop it faster, but Magnus is busy at work down here. I think I'm just going to leave him down there and I can start settling from Boston. The crazy thing is I'm still getting diplomatic favour after all of this. This is, this is lovely. Right, Settler, out for you. We're going to send you to this one first and then I will put another city maybe on that mountain pass. I quite like having one tucked away just on that tile there. Boston is growing in population. I'll be able to outproduce Washington soon. I believe this is this is fine. We're 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 chopping population out. Charleston is is barely getting started as well. So we've got we've got time here. We've got time to make this work. What do I want to pick up in my capital, by the way? I think I'm going to get audience chamber. Seems like a strange choice because I haven't got too many governors out, but anything I can use to make my capital a little bit better, I'm going to. The volcano here does make it a little bit more um problematic, but we'll 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 learn to love the volcano. Another city. We are getting them settled now fast. Sodo. Woohoo. like that name. That's a fun name. Military engineering, civil service, both are now boosted. I can actually, you know what? I'm actually going to change governments. I'm going to go back to classical republic. This means I go anarchy for three turns and that's atrocious. But you know what? For once, we're just going to take it. Ha 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 ha. I really, really want to go anarchy because the audience chamber is the one I want. I, I need that card to have a republican legacy card. That's the most important thing. You need that later into the game if I can get it. And we'll go for it. Monumentality uses faith to get sensible things like builders and settlers, but I could get not sensible things like soothsayers. That's what I'm thinking right now. And it's uh, it's an evil and crazy thought. I might go Exodus of Evangelists then. Should we do that? Or is that worth it? Because uh, my apostles are just going to die. But I can spread myself a little bit further. I'll go Monumentality again, because I might use my gold to buy those things. It's all good. Uh, soothsayer, 300 faith. There we go. And we can start working on this uh, bath towel. Look at that. Lovely. It's already got seven faith per tile, but that will go a lot higher. Don't you worry. 
It's fine. It's only a little bit of anarchy, you know? <laughs> anarchy is good in every civilization. Uh, military advisor. Oh, I mean, I probably should have kept this one. I'm going to go for trade routes to me, and I'm going to go for ranged, because ranged are used mainly in defense. Catastrophic eruption. That's fine. It's not near me. Menelik and Meli. Meli's not so good, but I've got more Meli troops, so actually that's probably not a bad situation for me. And I've now finally built up the population around Charleston and Boston, which is quite nice. America is in the normal age. I think I should be able to hold Boston now. It's looking pretty, it's looking pretty good. Its loyalty is not the best, but it will, it will get there. In fact, actually, I'm just going to put one bread and circuses project through and then a watermill, and that should, in theory, flesh itself out a little bit. As soon as that loyalty gets to 100, I'm not getting minus 25% on all my yields and catastrophic growth penalties and stuff, so that's, that's pretty cool. Time to soof my say. Ha! Ah, nice. More faith in my capital means more of every yield. Military emergency failed as well. Teddy, he didn't vote for it very hard. Bless him. He kind of half-heartedly tried and was like, eh, oh, oh no. Oh, what a shame. I don't have to go to war. It's like, it's like he was sort of having a chat to his like internal politicians and being like, you know, I, I can raise the emergency, but I really don't, really don't want to be going for it. Can we, can we do anything else, please? There we go. We got our yields back now. Back up to 187 faith per turn. It's looking lovely. And these great bath tiles are now worth 10 faith each. That's 40 faith coming into my capital from those tiles. And that's translating itself nicely into cards that I'm looking for. I'm also now possible to go down the chorus path, which will give me 20% of my faith into science, culture, and gold. That's 32 of each yield. It's, um... It's going to be a big old boost for old Ursa here. We can now change government properly. Holy site bonuses are good. We like those. We like those bonuses. It's, it's nice for me. Urban planning is fantastic. Diplomatic league. And then we'll go charismatic leader as well. We'll go for the old one, two, three. Oh, there's a fire starting. And that is rainforest. I believe this is all woods. Okay, so that's not going to spread. I always forget this, but fires only spread between the same districts so like wood goes to wood and, and rainforest goes to rainforest it's always limited by that as i say never remember that myself it's always a bit of a mystery when i'm like oh it's not burning down how lucky and people are like nope not lucky it's just that you can never remember that it's like yeah that's that's fair and i'm still building um the, the churches by the way they are still giving me tons of yield and actually i believe i can do this and i can go feature remove woods bam like that we're one turn away from Mahabadi temple now there are so many of these meteor showers this map it's mad Mahabadi temple there we go grants two apostles when built delicious those apostles i can use to improve my religion quickly which i'm going to do and then i can go off and any apostle i make from this point can be fodder for the slaughter there's no point holding on to them right now because nobody has got a religion apart from me this is a slight problem i need someone else to take a religion anyone to take a religion <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be in the awkward position where we want to sacrifice my units, but there's no one to sacrifice them on. It's really weird. Um, I could do the heathen conversion, which would be quite cool. And I was actually thinking if I wait and get myself Hajja Sophia, that would give me one extra charge. And then I could use them once and then use them to convert my religion, which would be relatively amusing. Um, I could do that. Where am I going to possibly build that one? It would probably have to be in this city or maybe even in this city. But I've already chopped everything there. So much chopping. Oh, I'll have to think about that. I think it's too complicated. I think what I'm going to do is just evangelize, evangelize for now. It's all about faith. I need as much faith as I can get. So pilgrimage, I've only got three cities following me, but that will flip soon. Unfortunately, pilgrimage faith is not uh, improved by Ethiopia's abilities. So that is just something to bear in mind there. And we're also going to go for mosques because they give me the faith and also the uh, plus one spread which means i can use them on things if i want to which is a nice little addition monarchy yay for monarchy okay right holy sites that's good gothic architecture is good as well and i'll pick up uh, my classical republic legacy in a second but then we'll go for conscription and I guess we'll go for retainers because then I can actually move my units into my cities and give myself a little bit of immunity bonus. That's actually not a bad idea. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Especially because I've got quite a bit of army actually just sort of stood around. So this works really well. Let's go back to there. Send you back to there. And then get you back to there. Good. Okay, cool. Actually, that's pretty handy. 
But Monson and Michelle are oh, annoyingly. My capital is not the place to be doing this because it does not have any towels that are not great bath towels. What about over here? Yeah, that could be good. Charleston's got decent production. Boston has decent production. Boston's likely to have the most production once I've got it sorted. So maybe that's what I do. Although if I save up faith, I could get Imhotep. Oh, Imhotep's not the best. Imhotep's not the best. Let me think about this. I that that is a thinker, but I but I need Monson and Michelle, and I really want it to be in a decent city. Yeah, Charleston is actually doing pretty decently and it doesn't have a huge amount. Uh, yeah, actually look at this. For whatever reason, that marsh is not, look at that. That's a um, grassland floodplain. Oh, it's grassland floodplain, it's not much. Oh, there we go, look, that's perfect then. Uh, let's put it in this city. I've changed, I've, I've decided, I've come to the conclusion that this is the city for it. Okay, perfect. We need to now throw some extra production and builders at this city and make sure that we can throw that over. In fact, actually Magnus, Magnus can come across now. I'm going to make these chops even better. We're going to do this properly. I'm going to get this going really nicely. One more city here, by the way. Lovely. Add a gract. Oh, the Netherlands don't like me settling there. Interesting. Well, you're my friend, so literally you have to look the other way, and I'm just going to keep doing it. Oh, I, you literally just settled there. Come on. That's... That was... I, I was going there first. I'll have you know. And that's the audience chamber as well. So, let's go Republican Legacy to get myself a little bit of extra amenities, which is great. We've got retainers, we've got conscription, we've got gothic architecture. we got the things. We've got everything. It's all good. And Void Singers, 20% of my faith now turning into gold, science and culture. That's actually now 42, I think, of each one. Well, bam! If I just uh, just shake my capital around quickly, you'll see. There we go. 118, 121. These are good yields. There we go. Uh, America has denounced me, but that's good. That means that pretty much we have no grievances against us now. So the world will very quickly forget about whatever America is whinging about. No one's no one's entirely sure, and it's fine. Um, let's go for alliances now. I'd love it if I can get a cultural alliance with the Dutch. Actually, no, we don't even need that. Go research instead. Yeah, they'll give me seven gold per turn for that one. That's great. I'll go military with Grand Columbia because they've got the biggest army. That's another seven gold per turn. We'll go religious a lot. No, they don't want that. Economic? Nope. Cultural? Nope. I'll go religious. This might encourage Arabia to actually go for a religion at some point. Yeah, and I'll give five gold back to them. But we've got a bunch of alliances going up now. But we've got a bunch of religious alliances going up now and everything else is all good. We're, we're happy with this. This is fine. I'm just going to do a route through to Sodo just so I've got a bit of a road connecting everyone now. I like I like to be connected. I'm just saving my soothsayers a little bit. I was just thinking about this because every time I get a soothsayer it's increasingly more expensive and I want them to be as powerful as possible before we go crazy on the Great Bar. So I'm just holding off on that just for now. But as you can see, Magnus is just about ready to go now. And Charleston's looking okay as a city. Just waiting and I'm going to start chopping these through. I need about 700 production. Each wood will be 100. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 within range. We should be able to chop out Mont St. Michel pretty quickly. Just a cheeky little envoy into Leventa. Mm, sneaky, sneaky. 2, 3, 7, Faith now. Oh, yes. That shit was really good. We are, we are loving this now. 70 science in my capital, which considering it hasn't got a campus, rather enjoyable. There is another city down here. Now this is a rebellion in 19 turns sort of situation, which is not something I particularly enjoy. But if I focus on getting just a little bit of le build going on in both of these, then that's going to be really good. Oh, we settle too close. Here, go on, man. I'll take the favor. Ha 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 ha. And I'll sell it again next turn. I'm unscrupulous and horrible and evil. <laughs> I sell horses by the double dozen. Well, not quite a double dozen, but still close. Come buy my horses, everyone. Nobody's got any more relics, which is a little unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Hey, Magnus is done. Perfect. So, uh, holy site, tick. Um, Gothic architecture, this is the one, tick. 15% extra production, and now we can chop for 108, which actually, if we start on 80, goes to 203. So it's 123 production a chop. A delicious. That's half of it already done. If I just now quickly buy this towel, that's two more chops and we can just go from there and see what we can do. In fact, look at this. Another rock hewn church, you say? Oh, beautiful yields. Chippy chop, chippy chop. Bam and bam. Down to eight turns now. What else can be done? Can we 
Can we chop this anymore? I don't actually think we can, apart from if we were to just pick up this extra marsh towel, which actually does help a little bit. It actually helps to grow the city a little bit, which is good. We like a good marsh towel. Our pantheon is coming very good, very quickly. We've done medieval fairs, which means we're almost at humanism now. 152 culture per turn. Again, I haven't got any theatre squares apart from the two that I stole, which is a sentence in itself. Actually, I haven't got anything apart from these, uh, these theft things. Ignore the theft. The theft is nothing. Oh, a thousand year flood that gives me nothing but benefit and no penalty. Hmm, that teaches me to build dams. It really doesn't. Uh, there's Imhotep, by the way. I was actually wondering whether or not the mausoleum has been done. No, it hasn't. We know what we like to do with this. There's the engineer. I really should be using my faith on settlers, but I was looking at it and thinking, hmm, that's tempting. Uh oh, another death. Another death. Where was that? What's going on here? Oh, that's my new city. Is that my new city? Yeah. Oh, one population lost. Literally, I just built that. I thought these... Oh, I thought they weren't supposed to break. Well, hang on. Was it just that they only break and don't disappear? And, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Can only be pillaged, never destroyed by natural disasters. Okay. The only be pillaged bit, I feel, is like... that. That's not very good. I'd like it if they just didn't get destroyed. Ah, <laughs> oh, never mind. Guilds. We have guilds now. I don't really need Craftsman, which is an unusual one. I normally pick that card up immediately, but there's humanism. Archaeological museums will get unlocked soon. I'll need archaeologists, but uh, all of that I can buy with faith, and that's I'm very excited about. I'm very excited about all that indeed. Lovely stuff. Uh, Magnus, you're up here now. Okay, cool. I guess I don't need you up there anymore, do I? No, not really. So let's take you down south to this city. Where I can buy more settlers, in theory. I say in theory because there's probably better stuff I should be doing with my faith, but good fun. Another governor title available. Yeah, connoisseur. Okay, cool. My capital is now pretty much as fully developed as I'm going to get it for a little while now, but look at that. We're up to, by turn 110, 153 science and 182 culture per turn. This game, so far, is working out to be pretty tasty. Just picking up Leventa as a... Suzerain and Muscat. Very good. Bandar Brunei of Earth. I've discovered and still wearing lots of different bits and pieces here. Actually, I have no idea where Bandar Brunei is. Oh, no, it's up there. Oh, weird. That's really cool. Anyway, I need one more envoy with Leventa to get plus three in every mosque that I build, which is a good pickup as well. And we've just unlocked Hajar Sophia. A beautiful selection of things. Dust storm. Oh, no. Oh, that's a population lost in that city that's building a harbour. That's no fun. Mont Saint Michel. So there's kind of a good thing and a bad thing to this wonder. The good thing is that my relic theory is going perfectly. Brilliant. I, I like that. I like that a lot. We should be in a lovely position very soon where we can throw our apostles at the AI and generate infinite relics. The bad thing is that nobody has made a single great person point yet. That nobody wants a profit. Absolutely nobody. So now I'm beginning to wonder, like, hmm, what am I going to do about that? How many profit points is it to get next one? 60. What I could do is give a city to America with a holy site. That could be something I'd do. And then it would force them to get profit points and then they would be forced to have a religion and then they'd be forced to then send that religion to me just because, well, no, they wouldn't even, I guess I would be sending my religion to them badly so that they kind of spread their own thing. But that could be something. I mean, it could be fiendish enough to work. You never know. Well, actually, Joan of Arc, that's uh, one general. It's worth 3,000 faith, but she does give a relic when she dies. So that is, in theory, one way we could get a relic. I'm just double checking with other people. I just a triple check that quick deals isn't lying to me and nobody you know someone does have a relic no we do have the only two relics in the game i mean i don't mind we don't need a huge amount of relics to, to win this game properly it's just you know i'd quite like to to, to to have a crazy amount and have a bit of fun with it all right this city's got a harbor which now has a lighthouse uh i don't need the lighthouse for the mausoleum but i'm gonna build it anyway um there's imatep i've still got the gothic architecture card in so now when i go kasploosh the mausoleum gets insta built now this means that all my engineers have one additional charge so imatep effectively has not lost a charge and it now means that i can rush two more wonders i'm building lots 
and lots of industrial zones by the way so i'm getting my own general points up pretty quickly which is awesome but now having all of these abilities to just get as many as i want it's pretty cool temple of artemis would be a really cool pickup actually in a new city if i got any deer or anything like truffles that i could be just improving a city with i know that i, I kind of chopped some of my deers down in order to get wonder boosts so that's that's on me the desecration of the local wildlife is a is a problem that I really should address at some point, but that's not that's not my fault, I promise. Colosseum? Oh, Colosseum. I I see uh, Colosseum. I I see him. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying it until I make myself laugh. Uh, I actually could build it in Boston. That's that's interesting. Where could I build it? Just on that tile, not on. Oh uh, yeah, no, not on that one. Um, I mean that's pretty rubbish. I think that would hit one, two, three, four, five. It would only hit two cities. So that that is terrible. Capital hasn't got many places it can be built either. So I might just have to wait for a city down here and build it. But Colosseum is an option for us. Humanism done. Perfect. So I've, I've unlocked archaeological museums, which is a cool thing. Still haven't got my archaeologists, but that is now just something that I can beeline. And a great merchant. Get astronomy. I can get astronomy, can't I? So I think, oh no, not quite, but I should be able to get that pretty soon. And my culture's pretty insane nonetheless, so we can we can still rush this. It's okay. And actually, building Colosseum there means that I can at least get a, like a semi-decent one that hits three of my cities. It's not it's not brilliant, but it means I've at least earned it, and I'd rather just have it and you know mean that nobody else can have it. Just picked up mercantilism by beelining a merchant. Oh, we're so close now. Yeah, astronomy. We're gonna do this in like five turns should be happy i'm happy with how this is going so far albert the relic lion is still spreading himself around lovely stuff this is going to flip in four turns i've got so many cities actually flipping to me now because i'm just unopposed really still no other religion what are you gonna do world congress is about to meet actually i should save my diplomatic favor just in case someone decides to call an emergency on me again again look not gonna sell it not gonna sell it i saw you thinking like oh he says one thing and then he immediately goes to the quick deal screen no nope, don't worry this time I remembered. It's okay. Aid request. Oh, go on, man. I'll join in with that. Sure. Why not? Now, aid requests are really difficult um, on any sort of apocalypse mode map because if I use my soothsayers at all, it all just goes terribly wrong immediately and that's fine, I guess, but it's just, yeah, something to watch. Sort of almost hoping that somebody builds Stonehenge. I have the option to build it and I'm thinking if someone else does it, then that is a religion that they can do. And that would be quite nice. I mean, annoyingly, Arabia is kind of programmed sometimes to avoid religion until it gets a profit, which, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a really strange setup. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's uh, coded particularly well. But what are you going to do? There's only so much you can do in this game. Coliseum. Huzzah. Let's just rush this through and bam. Imhotep puts down the Coliseum in my capital. That's three cities getting two culture, two loyalty, two amenities. Plus, it's a really cool looking wonder. It's like a Stadio, but earlier and much worse. I know it's like an S tier wonder and I know it's really, really good, but... I just feel like it would be improved by a car park, you know? It's just got that sort of look to it. Now the region, I'm not building Petra as I kind of promised that I wouldn't <laughs> as part of the challenge not to build Petra. And uh, yeah, it's a tough, not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Lots of exciting things happening this turn. Industrial era because of colonialism. Nice. Let's go Raj, that gives me a beautiful extra 12 faith as well as 12 of pretty much every yield. Holy site's good. Gothic architecture, I don't probably need that one anymore. So I'm thinking about getting rid of that one. Let's go invention instead because I'm getting so many great people points. It's it's worth it. It's well worth it. But Boston has just got an amphitheater, which means I can now buy an archaeological museum with faith. Huzzah! Perfect stuff. Okie dokie. Right, well now I can go for natural history get myself zoos but more importantly archaeologists which again I can also buy with faith. I mentioned it before Leventa there we go that is plus three faith for every mosque. Um, it's a shame I don't have any mosques right now but I will I will get them soon. Appease the gods. Ah oh, I was wondering when that would happen. Let's appease them and appease them well. I should be able to build quite a few quite little little cunning troops. Pikemen 45 strength for 180 production. Hmm. 
160 production. Men at arms are slightly cheaper. Uh, what about my cavalry? 48 strength. I think pikemen are probably the most cost efficient to buy uh, or produce. And yeah, I think they are. Uh, and actually, heavy chariots, 65 to 28. Uh, no, heavy chariots. It's heavy chariots are the best. So let's just kick a few of those out and sacrifice them to the volcano gods. And as you saw before, um, I don't need the diplo favor anymore because I'm just about to go and sacrifice it all to the volcano. So I know there's a vote coming up, but I was going to lose it anyway. So it's uh, I can't I can't help myself in terms of timing. So I just have to go immediately. And that's my capital again. Goodbye, capital. It was lovely knowing you. <laughs> Uh, oh well, let's just celebrate by sacrificing a heavy chariot into the fire immediately. Nice. Goodbye. Actually, I'm going to lose this aid request by a long way because of all the sacrificing I'm just about to go and do. Natural history, by the way. So now I can build archaeologists for 800 faith. It's a little bit expensive, but in the grand scale of things, worth it. If you're like me and you want to use those archaeological dig sites. That's actually one thing I probably should think about doing is going for, where is it? Um, Terracotta Army, but I think that's probably already been taken. Never mind. That lets you go into other people's lands to take it, but I mean, honestly, it's fine. Go for cultural heritage. That'll give me shipwrecks. That's another source of them. I'm just going to beeline that quickly. It's good fun. World Congress time. Trades to me. Let's do it. And um, fewer grievances for me because I'm a lovely person and everyone loves me. Oh, 100% draw towards me. Never mind. There's my unique cavalry, by the way. Look how magnificent and handsome they look and glorious and oh no, they're in the volcano already. Ha ha ha. Burn it all. Burn them all. Excavate artifact. Combustion was already boosted and there's the last hero score I needed to give myself an artifact and a golden age. Yay. Long swords. Hopefully the first of many. So often when I'm filming these series, I will record them in chunks over a few days because my filming time is a little bit scattered every now and then. I can't just sit down and play an entire game in one go. And in the downtime on this game, I've come to a bit of a conclusion. The AI not getting a religion is problematic. And I don't like problematic. I want to sort this out immediately. So here's the plan. What I'm going to do is I am going to settle some cities, specifically some terrible, terrible cities. One, two, three. What I'm then going to do is fill them with holy sites and give them to the Dutch. The Dutch will then get profit points because I've already given them a city with holy sites in. I'm going to take a culture alliance with them, which will expire in five turns. So I can renew that into culture. I, I'm just going to force them. I'm going to force them to take the cities. I mean, this, this may be the most ridiculous plan I've come up with in some time, but somehow I'm going to make it work. So there's one settler. I'll send another settler out the next turn. We're going to go and force feed these cities. Whether the AI likes it or not, they will have a religion and they will enjoy the religion. I'm also making sure that every city has a heavy chariot in it. They are very low maintenance, which is good. They don't take any resources. They're very cheap to buy. And I'm also making good use of the retainers card, which gives every city another amenity. It's worth it. It's worth having them around. Okay, those are the settlers out now. Good, I'm gonna move Magnus over. We're gonna still make some more cities, probably, but it doesn't need to be these cities. So as I'm producing a temple, I'm gonna hand over there's three cities, each with a holy site with a shrine and a temple. The Netherlands should start getting nine profit points in per turn. They should make their own religion really quickly and I should be able to then spread my religion to them. It's a glorious, glorious idea. I'm also going to treat myself to another couple of soothsaying disasters. Yay! Every time I do it, these get better. Uh, let's get a 500 faith soothsayer and I'm going to leave them on one charge, win appease the gods and just see what happens. You never know could be a lot of fun. The Theodora is here. Wonder construction. Very helpful for me. I've got 15 engineer points coming in per turn. And the first writer. We never rules. No writers, no artists, no musicians. Pass. I will not take any of that filthy work in my land. No, no. If you want to take a look at extra wonders I can do, Hajar Sophia, I think is, is got to be one of the better wonders that I can put in. And this city could do it relatively well. 710 production. I think that's what I want to do, but it just gives my, gives all of my uh, additional units just a little bit more powerful. Now, man, I could have put that it's slightly different in order to get the actual adjacency to my theater square there, but never mind. Let's do it. Two more disasters means that these tiles are now 13 faith each. 
All the more yields for my capital. Industrialization, and I've already up to conservation, which is quite cool. So I'm not going to build any national parks. That's not the aim of this game, but I will keep an eye out for extra things here. In fact, actually, I might, you know what, I might treat myself to a better government today. I don't know. We'll we'll see how it goes. But cultural heritage. Here we go. Shipwrecks. That gives me another source of artifacts, which is very helpful for me indeed. And Singapore, I believe I'm just going to come and steal you quickly. Let me just pop in Gothic architecture quickly. I don't need to rush these engineers just yet. I'd rather just make sure that we can get a Seador in. Mmm, a Seador. Bam. Hajar Sophia makes all of my units just a little bit better. Oh, and that's coal now. I found coal. Of course I've got coal. There's some down there in Boston and some now near the city. Oh, goodness me. Stealing from America. It works out well. I should do it more often. Ah, a British man. Stealing from America. Mmm. Makes everyone happy. Treat my capital to a factory briefly. Bump. Oh, that's some nice production. In fact, I've got two. I've got Hong Kong and Singapore both throwing production in as long as I'm building things like walls. So that works well for me. Lovely. I've got two soothsayers just on one promote or one charge left. I'm going to leave those alive. Just keep on flooding this river. And as you can see, oh, Arabia has sacrificed some troops. I need to just keep an eye out for that. I don't want to lose this. I, I want to appease the gods the best so I can have a free soothsayer unit. But yeah, I want to just keep an eye on that one. Look at this, an artifact. Oh, discovered by, it's my own artifact. Never mind. America is still denouncing me. I mean, I think it's still feeling a little bit hurt by the fact that it declared war on me and I won. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had to have a cultural alliance. Netherlands. Oh yeah, they really want that. There we go. Perfect. We'll go for a religious alliance with Arabia. I really want to encourage them to get a religion and we'll go for a research alliance. I'm not really planning on going to war this game. I just don't fancy a big war this game. I've done a lot of big wars recently, but here we go. One city and two cities. I'll rush through the Hagia Sophia. So all of my missionaries and apostles now spread religion one extra time. If I build them in a city with a mosque, that's two extra charges each time. It makes a big old difference. Look at the gypsum mine. That's so cool. I love the way the gypsum sort of naturally forms in this game. It's beautiful. That's a cool wonder as well. So that's all good. I'm now going to do a tiny bit of trading in order to get rid of some of these resources for a little bit of gold. Thank you so much. I just want that gold up front so that I can go in and waste some money unlocking my governments to get rid of Gothic architecture to get in serfdom so that I can now go to the new cities and use my faith to get five charge builders, which makes a big difference. There we go. And now these cities can get the holy sites sorted. That's all I want to do in these cities is get these holy sites finished. That's the only only thing I want to do. I mean, I'm giving up a source of coal here to the Netherlands, which is a little bit annoying, but what are you going to do? As soon as both holy sites are finished, I'm going to pop them down, finish them with shrines and temples and hand them over to the Dutch. I'm going to force them to get a religion this game, whether they like it or not. God nearer for old Ursa. I'm hoping there's going to be a few gold Nero's here. Uh, people can still get Exodus of the Evangelists, so that's a cool one. Yeah, Grand Columbia might do it. You never know. They may end up doing it. Right, what are we going to do? Monumentality is still a really fun one. I'm still getting huge amounts of faith, so I'm going to just keep picking it up until we kind of don't need to anymore. And as you can see, we've got plenty to chop down in these holy site cities. This is going to be great. These soothsayers have only got one charge in them left. I'm keeping them all for the promotion. What are the tiles up to now in my capital? 18 faith per tile now. Nice. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so good. This city has got itself a temple. Good. That gets a profit point. I don't think think my religious building, the mosque, gives a profit point, does it? No. And I want the Netherlands to feel like they can get their own. Grand Columbia did not go for a great profit. That's, I mean, it was unlikely to ever be a case that, but we'll, we'll be a little bit disappointed nonetheless. 99 production, 200. Okay, we only need three chops in each city to get these holy sites rocking. So we'll do that. Appease the gods is done. Yay. How bad is my aid request? Minus 164. That's pretty bad. Well, I'll give, I'll give America some god. I will like, I, I'm going to see if I can get that diplomacy point just because I don't want anyone else to get it, but could be relatively amusing. There's another artifact. This one is Menelik as well, but the first time we have three artifacts now in my city. We're going to need a lot to be able to theme these things. It should be fun. Luckily for me, I'm starting to pick up archaeologists 
everywhere I go now, which is wonderful. My capital is burning coal. Uh, appease the gods, I did win it. Oh, look at that, America sneaking in there with the silver award. Beautiful. What if I got a free soothsayer from all of that, but what is my soothsayer extra promotion now? Plus one charge, adjacent units gain plus five combat strength. Okay, so we've got a little bit unlucky in this sense that we haven't got any of the crazy promotions, but what we can do now is just cause so many disasters that our tiles are going to get insane. I don't mind if the world floods, by the way. That is of no consequence to me. Let's just sell all my diplomatic favor as well before I lose it. People are like, what the hell are you doing to the world, Ursa? Stop it. So there's that chop and this chop. There we go. Two holy sites finished. I can go for a shrine in each city and I don't quite have enough gold, but I probably could get enough gold if I wanted ish ish not quite nobody really wants to sell anything so i could do it next turn or do i just give it as it is i've got one city two cities three cities that's seven profit points per turn arabia's finally getting a profit point by the way but time is of the essence if i wait until next turn actually i can give him a temple next turn let's do it properly come on don't don't take half measures here Ursa. let's do it properly i'm going to call this city gift one i'm going to call this city gift two you'll never guess what this city is going to be called that's right Gift C. <laughs> I'm just a being of chaos, really. <laughs> Cultural heritage. There is some shipwrecks, which is cool. Now I could get more heritage tourism in a second, but I'm not gonna bother with that just for now. Instead, I'm just going to have a look and see how many shipwrecks we have uncovered on the map that I know of. Two off the coast there, that's good. There's one off the coast, really not many at all. We need to we need to blow some more stuff up. We need to fight more barbarians. This is what we need to do. What's that? Use all my soothsayers again. All right, go on then, I will. <laughs> each one gets uh, four promotions or four charges each time I use it. And now each tile is worth for me 28 faith. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's translated to 35%, which is basically a third. So each one of these tiles is giving me nine science and nine culture. So there's 40 science and culture roughly just from that area. Perfect. And also, even better, look at this Singapore and Buenos Aires all taken over in one swoop. Beautiful stuff. Now that I've got that, I need to actually get some decent civics. I've beelined massively into the modern era here. Let's, yeah, let's go for some Basel's Cathedral. I would quite like that near my capital if I can build it. At just a point, I was just going to get my actual cities to steal as much land from my gift cities as possible. It doesn't really matter, but I'll just steal everything before I can do this. In fact, actually, have I got a little bit more to sell now? I can build gift one a temple like that. In fact, actually, you know what? I'm just going to, uh, there's no need to keep them. So I'm going to just go. If you take gift one and gift two, do you want to give me some gold for that? Yeah, they will give me gold. But you know what? That's actually a decent deal. Perfect. You have these two cities now. I'll just finish the temple in this one and then I'll give that across to you as well. The things I have to do in these games, eh? The things I have to do to make them work. Channel supporters, I hope you believe I'm going the extra mile here because it feels like I am. Reformed church. I know it's a zoo and I know zoos are important, but St. Basil's Cathedral in my capital, that's something that I need to be doing quickly. Gift C, temple, perfect. Netherlands, would you like this city? Yes, they would. They'll give me 10 gold per turn for it. Perfect. I, they should be earning great profit points now. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And I haven't put my religion into these cities deliberately as well. So I'm hoping just because of the fact they're getting so many profit points now, the Dutch AI will start to go, oh, maybe we should go for a religion. We're, we're doing quite well on this. It, 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 I've seen weirder things and I'm, I'm hoping that's what happens here. I'm also going to switch governments. It's I, I really enjoy having a monarchy. I do. It's wonderful. But theocracy, it gives me 15% bonus on faith purchases. And that is something that I probably should have done a little while ago. Republican legacy, Raj, perfect. There's not many cards to use, unfortunately, in this game, but we'll use the ones we've got happily. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Salty Tech, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Dayboy91, Sean Critties, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Emir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, and Private Selection Genoa Salami for all of your support, as well as everybody that leaves comments and interacts with the channel generally. Thank you so much. See you all next time.